Hi everybody, my name is Adam from Trade with Precision and welcome to IC Markets Market Commentary. I'd like to draw your attention to the market. So at the time of being recorded, the market, uh, the US is celebrating Martin Luther King Day. So the market is likely to be subdued. However, most likely by the time you're watching it, the market has started to uh, kick off. So for example, let me kind of draw your attention to this. Looking here at Euro dollar on the daily, you can see that it is stuck in a range. What I'm looking for here will be what I refer to as a momentum candle. This will be a candle that breaks away from the consolidation. I'm looking and expecting that to happen this week. So possibly by the time you're watching this, this has already happened. I'm looking for it to happen to either the upside or the downside. There are often cases where uh, I already have an expectation, but not this time I'm looking. Uh, I really want to see which way it goes. So having a look at uh, Aussie dollar, Kiwi dollar, you can see here it's looking a little bit more bearish. Same kind of thing, potentially leaning a little bit to the downside. Dollar yen is interesting to me when we have a look at this. We've had a really nice breakout to the upside and a bullish candle setting up. So for me, this is something to have a look at. Sorry, not that way. Let's have a look at that. So my expectation here is potentially that this will continue to the upside. Euro yen has a very similar setup as well. So you can see here on the daily, a really nice break of resistance, a pullback and a bullish engulfing candle. So that is traditionally speaking, a nice little bullish signal. That's something that catches my eye. So I'll certainly be stalking that. So I decided to just tweak the color of that and just update that. Swiss Yen has a very similar setup as well. So you know that this is something we could see happening across the board on some of the Yen crosses, but they're not all really created equally. And that is why these are one of the ones I'll be looking at for this week is looking for a continuation to the upside. Then having a very quick look at gold. Gold in general, this is a weekly chart, is still creeping up to the upside here. It's still more bullish than bearish. Looking at it on a daily time frame, for example, I can see that there's no doubt that there is some resistance at 2071. I think the pressure is very much to the upside here, and I expect it to continue to push up. But once it enters this area where these levels of resistance are, I'd also expect some pushback from that. And it's really only once gold gets past that 20, let's call it $20.90 level that I expect it to start accelerating and pick up in pace. So bullish, but a little bit tricky in these areas of resistance. So crude oils, one of the things that's worthwhile mentioning here is that it had actually started to break through its downward sloping trend line. What does that mean? It means that it was no longer as bearish as it has been in the past. It started to work its way up, um, but it is also still stuck very much between a level of resistance and a level of support still range bound. So this is definitely, again, one of those weights and sees. And similar to the majors against the US dollar, I'd like to see how it handles this. Um, it's likely that if they, something that the markets do wait on the dollar, that we see the breakout. If we see it in the same direction on the currencies, on the majors, as well as on some of the commodities, it's likely to be the dollar driving it. We have a very quick look here as well at the global indices. The US global index is also a little bit overextended and also very much stuck in a range on a daily time frame. You can see it looks a little bit more obvious. Again, same thing. I'm looking for either breakout to the upside or to the downside, which is then very likely to be the direction in which it is most likely to continue. All right, it's more likely to break out in good faith rather than as a failed breakout. So similarly, even looking here at the US tech, you can see that battling with levels of resistance right there would have preferred a deeper pullback before we continue on. So this is a very very shallow retracement, which is often a sign of bullishness. So there is a hint here that it might break out to the upside uh, over that. Finally, let's have a quick look at a Bitcoin. So Bitcoin today, just noticing that it is also testing a level of support. It's generally bullish, but if it starts to break through these levels, especially these lows, I'd also expect a deeper correction there. Lastly, very quick discussion on NVIDIA. Really like the look of NVIDIA here. It's had a really nice, healthy breakout to the upside after a long consolidation. I've been looking and talking in the past about a deeper correction. However, an alternative to a correction is also just a nice consolidation. And it's a very strong, healthy looking breakout. So we'll see how it ha happens, uh, how the markets react tomorrow. If we get a really strong dollar, we might see it push back and it turns into a fail breakout because there's a little bit of bearish divergence. However, I'm more inclined to believe that this is at this time a relatively decent one and that it's likely to hold. Hold. And then the only other one that I wanted to draw your attention to here quickly if we wrap up is that we've got Tesla here stuck in this little triangle wedge. Um, it, there is earnings reports coming out on the 24th and overall it's had a relatively bad week last week. So I'm looking at these previous lows. The most significant one is this one around about the 193 level. 
actually I can give it exactly here at 194. If we start to break price starts to break below that, then the market will start to the, the Tesla specifically will start to attract more bears. It'll start to attract sharks and short sellers, and it'll start to gain steam. However, it, if it could stay above where it is now and start to push back up and break up above these highs, it'll gain and attract bulls. Okay, so that's definitely one to watch, and I think that January is going to be potentially significant for the future of Tesla uh, as a stock price. So very interesting. Keep an eye out for that. Have a fantastic week, and I will see you in future videos. Thank you.